while doing an inspection on a water heater that needs to be replaced, came across this. This is referred to as galvanic corrosion, where you have two dissimilar metals joined together and you have some sort of a liquid, in this case water, running through the pipes. This is galvanized steel and that's copper. And what happens is the corrosion rate of one increases while the corrosion rate of the other decreases, cathode and anode type of a scenario here, where now this is rusting prematurely and obviously it's gonna create a leak. So the better option in this case would have been, instead of using the galvanized steel coupling, would have been a um, brass. Yeah, brass would have been closer in the corrosion rate to or uh, copper that's coming up. So a brass coupling would have been better. I would suspect this was used because of the cost. Brass in this case would have cost uh, about 10 bucks. This is dollar and change, but uh, long-term that brass would last longer and save a lot of headaches down the road. There you have it.